Praise the Lord. For today's devotion, let us turn to the book of Genesis chapter 41 verses 44 through 57. We will meditate on the topic, the ultimate savior. In Joseph's life, everything was orchestrated by the Lord God Almighty, divinely guided and protected and provided, and delivered him from prison at the perfect time. Verses 38 and 39, we read that King Pharaoh saw that the presence of the power of God's Spirit in Joseph. It was seen through his practical life, humility and wisdom. He had godly character. In Psalm 21 verse 1, we read, The horse is prepared for battle, but victory comes from the Lord. Our deliverance comes from the Lord, not from man. Joseph was promoted to the highest authority next to Pharaoh. Verses 40 and 41, we read this. Many of us fail to receive God's blessings due to our own pride, dishonesty. We stop trusting God along the way, then we miss out the blessings in our daily life. In the book of Psalm 75, we read that God exalts people who are humble. We read about our Lord Jesus. God exalted Jesus. It starts with humility. We read in the book of Philippians chapter 2. We read about uh, our Lord's humility. He humbled himself as a servant. Joseph from slavery to prison, now giving orders, who was once under all the orders. God prepared the pain to prepare him for the promotion and the position that God has planned for him. Before honor is humility, Proverbs 18, verse 12. Joseph wisely planned for the imminent famine. Seven years of famine. He was the right person on the leadership, doing wise stewardship. He knew exactly what needed to be done and he took right action, appointed people to do the various acts. Our God meets our needs sometimes through a mere man that he ordains but we have to participate with that person as good stewards to accomplish the goal that God has for us. We cannot sit idle. Joseph appointed and used everyone who could do the job with him. Our Lord Jesus, who became a man to satisfy all our needs, is expecting the same from all his children. We need to be always willing, prepared and be ready to work alongside with our Lord. As obedient children, as his servants, participate with him in order to enjoy the greater blessings we have in store for us. We don't need to starve. Let's be good stewards of the Lord, willing to spend and be spent in serving Him. Lord Jesus Christ, our ultimate Savior. He saves us from death to eternal life. He is our provider and sustainer, the source of our every blessings, the ultimate Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ. From famine to plenty, from death to life, the abundant and endless time of blessings are ours 
through Christ our Savior. Praise the Lord.